What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. And today we got to talk Hornets and we got to talk um, Minnesota Timberwolves, LaMelo versus Anthony Edwards. But I got some bad news for y'all, man. Let's get into the video. Out with my dude, AB the Hero. What's up? Well, we getting it down in the ball state, baby. Hey, hey. Right, let's just get straight to it, man. So. If y'all followed up with the last video, um, we did uh, basically a reaction of the LeVar um, statements that he made with TNZ. Um, and then we also, I was telling y'all, like, I'm going to the, the Bulls game, but, you know, I was like, yo, I might cop this ticket. And it was one seat right here that was still available. And I was like, yo, it'd be dope um, if I can. I was like, send it something through the cash out. Everybody send a dollar, you feel me? We'll get that thing busting. And I'm gonna see, I don't know if you can see it, but I just had to send it by 249. So I'm like, yo, it's up, we about to get it. So on this video, I was gonna get y'all that update. I click on here and somebody done bought the goddamn seat. I almost couldn't do the video. I, this is my second, third time recording this because I was so disappointed that this happened. But we're going to get into the uh, the game anyway. There's some seats still down here that, that I think you can cop a one ticket at. You know what I'm saying? So we might just mess with that. There's actually these seats here behind the bench, but they selling them in packs of two. So you got to get two. And, and actually, I was looking at it, and that really probably wouldn't even be uh, a bad seat on account of it's like literally behind the bench, you know what I'm saying? So it wouldn't be hardwood, but I could be like, yo, in everybody ear, what's up, T Row? So I don't know, but like I said, you gotta buy them two to get that. So that's that. But let's get to the game, let's talk about this. Tonight's game Hornets 133, Timberwolves 115, blowout game not close this game was over by the probably six seven minute mark in the fourth quarter i think the hornets subbed in the bench dudes uh with like five minutes to go um book night even got some points kai jones finally got some points in this game so uh that that's that's the type of blowout that it was now obviously they got the man kelly Oubre here and which means kelly Oubre was hooping tonight I don't know if y'all remember, but during the first couple games, I was saying, yo, Kelly need to stop shooting threes. Now, I don't know what happened. He heard the video. He put some extra time in the gym. But now Kelly Oubre is, is shooting the ball lights out from behind the arc. Seven three-pointers tonight um, out of 13 attempts, 53% from behind the arc. That's amazing. That's great. Kelly, don't listen to me. Uh, keep shooting threes. Or no, listen to me and keep shooting threes, Kelly, because you a bad boy. You know what I'm saying? You see Kelly in his three-point bag because he no free throw attempts. But you know what I'm saying? He's still doing his thing. 58% from the field, 53% from uh, three-point land. Excellent player. Excellent addition to this team. It's playing his role to a T. I guess also I was concerned a bit when Kelly joined the squad. You know, he, he not like a superstar, but he's a player of notoriety. And sometimes you get these guys with notoriety and they don't know how to fit in quite well, right? But he has kind of took in the mantle of being this guy who gets buckets off the bench. And it's working for this Hornets team. Um, Jalen McDaniel also playing great basketball coming in off the bench. Uh, he's a dude who has developed so much since uh, last season, and, and, and I'm proud of him. Now, we go to our boy LaMelo Ball. Four for 10 from the field, 13 assists, six boards, and uh, four turnovers, one steal. Um, games like this from LaMelo really remind me of um I, I, jba usa all right so when we were doing the jba usa tour we played that first game in Svendborg, denmark and then we traveled and and did like basically a full camp uh in in lithuania and there were a couple games that didn't actually get televised or you know streamed um from lithuania that we caught l's okay and it was interesting because um guys like lamello played well did his thing, got points off and all of this stuff. But um, there was one of those infamous moments where LeVar Ball just really got on LaMelo's head. 
um, because LaMelo played well, but everybody else on the team struggled. Everybody else on the team just could not buy a bucket. And, and LeVar really beat it into his head that like, it matters not if you're going off because you can't win these games if these other guys aren't on board, right? So he preached this thing into his head where he was like, you need to get them going even if it causes you to have a bit of a slow start, right? Because he was like, you can flip the switch and we know you can score if it's the second quarter, third quarter, whenever. If we need you to get buckets, we can get you to do that. But some of these other guys, you got to get them in rhythm. You got to get them running. You got to give them the ball. You got to pay. You got to reward them for, for being uh, um, in position for you. And once you do that, you can get your stuff. And I think when you see that, then you start to see LaMelo's assist totals go up. You start to see guys like Curtis Hollis and Iso Real go on these long runs. Tonight, when I look at this, um, this Hornets roster, and I see Gordon with 18, Miles with 18, PJ with 17, Terry with 15, uh, um, Kelly Oubre with 27, and you go back and you watch these assists, all of these guys ate off LaMelo tonight. The play of the game was the one right before halftime, the ball's going out of bounds. Melo dives, catches it as he's going out of bounds, turns and throws it down there to Miles Bridges for an easy bucket. Point total's not there, but when you got that many guys involved and you got somebody facilitating to that level with the assist, Folks will take that. And then that's when you get these type of blowout wins, right? Because also on the defense and they was locking up there as well. So um, a strong night overall from these Hornets. Uh, Terry Rozier, look at that three ball was falling, man. Terry Rozier, 100% from behind the line. Uh, PJ, 70%. Miles, 75%, Gordon Hayward, 40%, uh, Jalen McDaniel, 75%. It just is a, 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 a strong outing from this Hornets team um, tonight on the offensive end. And going back to what I was just talking about, um, when it comes to having players who can get people involved and get everybody going. This Minnesota Timberwolves team is the most like like a un understandable team in the NBA. You look at this roster and you think D'Angelo Russell at some point was an all-star in the NBA. Carl Anthony Towns at some point was regarded as the next best player in the NBA. Like the guy, if you were going to start a franchise, we you need to go get Carl Anthony Towns. Um, and Anthony Edwards, oftentimes people try to compare his, his situation to LaMelo as far as talent wise, but there's something to be said about this team who cannot figure out how to get W's. And I think this is one of the things that I, when I think about, uh, situations where you have these young dudes who you hand the keys to early in a bunch of losing efforts is that they learn how to score, they learn how to, you know what I mean, play the game and, and, and get the stats, but they never learn how to win. Anthony Edwards last year showed that he could, was a dynamic player, but he never learned how to win. Carl Anthony Towns, you look at when Jimmy Butler was there and putting pressure on them boys, they never really learned how to win. D'Angelo Russell has never really learned how to win. Even in a winning situation like the Golden State Warriors, he couldn't mesh with that and figure it out. That's one thing that I do appreciate about the, the trajectory that LaMelo is on is that he's learning how to win games, right? Now, I understand that he is a big part of, you know what I mean, them being able to win these games and his career path up to this point has really, you know what I mean, helped him in that. But if you think about 
I mean, Lithuania, they were struggling. Obviously, Spire was really good. Australia, their team wasn't really good. Um, obviously, in the JBA, they, they dominated at times. So he's had a kind of roller coaster. I mean, well, obviously, Chino Hills was like the best you can get, but I don't know. So it's just interesting to watch um, this, this, this Minnesota team who, who, in most cases, I mean, you would think that they have some pieces here, you know what I mean, but just cannot get it together. But that's that, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That 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 ticket being sold that fast after we made this video, you know what I'm saying, makes me upset a little bit simply because I feel like somebody seen the video and was like, oh, I'm buying a ticket. You know what I'm saying? So I should have just probably went ahead and copped it. Somebody put that in the comment like, bro, you should have just bought the ticket on the car and then just waited to get that thing reimbursed. Now I'm wishing I would have done that. But Shemay Man, ABD Hero, we getting up out of here. Hero. No, not peace. Plus one, triple B's. We out. Yeah, yeah.